Hi, Mrs. Young here, and today we are going to talk about echinoderms. So echinoderms are classified as invertebrates with an internal skeleton and a water vascular system. So some examples are sea stars, or also known as starfish, brittle stars, sea urchins, sand dollars, sea cucumbers, all of those are considered echinoderms. So let's talk about some of the characteristics. They live in salt water, so your oceans. They have body parts in multiples of five. So think of a starfish. That's probably one that everybody has seen at some point. You can see how we have one, two, three, four, five arms. It also has hardened plates of skin that are stretched over in an internal skeleton, and this helps provide support. If you've ever touched a starfish, it's, you can feel how it's kind of hard on the outside. That's those hardened plates of skin. So when it comes to echinoderms, there's four ma major groups. You have your sea stars, your brittle stars, your sea urchins, and your sea cucumbers. For all of these, they have a water vascular system. Now what this is, is it's the way that they move. It also helps them capture food. And the way that it works is you have all these little sacs. And what happens is water comes in and it's squeezed into these little sacs. And when that happens, the little feet or the little tubes on the outside becomes sticky, almost like a suction cup. And this allows them to grip onto things or to move. So reproduction. Echinoderms do have separate sexes. So that means some are male and some are female. And they reproduce sexually. So just like we've seen with other invertebrates, we have the starfish, in this example, releasing sperm that will then go and fertilize eggs that have been released. And then those that fertilized egg will develop into a larva. And that larva will then go through metamorphosis. So I hope that was helpful.